Welcome to Sweet Tea Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to plant pumpkins. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to be planting pumpkins. I'll start with a few of the basics. Before you begin planting, you need to make sure that your ground has been tilled several times and has as few clumps as possible. After that, it would be a good idea, but not necessary, to make rows so that you can be sure to plant your pumpkins um, at an evenly spaced distance, and it makes making the mounds for your pumpkins a lot easier as well. I have already mound up over a hundred hills for my pumpkins. A typical pumpkin hill should be about the size of home plates on a baseball field. So I've already planted my giant pumpkins. Today I'm going to be planting swan speckled gourds. These are very decorative. People sometimes even dry them and paint them, but they're an excellent thing to have around for the fall season. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make a hill. I have my nice tilled area and my ground is nice and soft. So making my hills are gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna take my hoe and rake up on all the sides. So I've got a tall peak. I'm just gonna smush it down with my hoe. And then I even like to kinda of come through and get some of those big clumps off some pieces of uh, weed fabric have gotten stuck in there. Okay, so this is a pretty good pumpkin hill and we're ready to put in some seeds. Your package will usually tell you to place uh, three to six seeds in each hill. This package says to put four on the top. So you wanna space them out evenly. And when I plant my seeds, I always put them in pointy side down. It allows for the roots to come out and germinate just a little bit quicker. So I use my finger to go about one inch down into the mound. And most likely all four of these will not come up or if they do all four come up, some won't survive and later you can thin them out. I don't pack the dirt around too tightly, just, just enough so that it's covered. Now, normally I would put a couple of cupfuls of water. I carry my five gallon bucket around and put my water right on top but we're expecting a lot of rain tonight. So this is an excellent time to be planting right before a good natural rain. Um, another important thing to take into consideration when you're planting your pumpkins is timing. You wanna be sure that all of your pumpkins have time to be picked and cured before you sell them or use them for decorations. Um, I pick my pumpkins usually the beginning of September because fall is about to be happening and people like to they like to start decorating pretty early so if you want to pick your pumpkins in the beginning of September you have to do your math to figure when should I start planting my 85 day pumpkins my 95 day pumpkins my 130 day pumpkins so about uh, the beginning of May is when I do my giant pumpkins because it's gonna take you all the way through September for those to mature and then you pick them, leave them out in the sun for a while. They will harden up and be a beautiful color ready to sell and decorate. Check back in a few weeks. We will give you a follow up on what our pumpkins are starting to look like. I hope that you've learned something and enjoyed uh, the planting tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe.